It's been nearly a year since Russia invaded Ukraine and some survivors, civilians and soldiers, suffered extensive injuries. News 10 Lines' Iris St. Moran speaking with a surgeon from Upstate University Hospital right here, who's made it his mission to help Ukrainians there recover. For 10 months, buildings reduced to rubble has been the reality in Ukraine. People there dealing with wounds you can't see and those you can. They were hit in the face with a bullet or a piece of shrapnel or some, some other projectile. And that um, tears up the soft tissue of the face. There's functional glands in the face, uh, the nerve that moves the face, it tears up the bones. Dr. Sherrod Tatum is a head, neck, plastic, and reconstructive surgeon at Upstate Medical University. And for 30 years, he's gone on mission trips. His most recent, in September, brought him to Ukraine, where he performed surgeries that would have otherwise been impossible. They've lost their homes, their friends and family, uh, so uh, any help we can give them uh, is, is a useful thing to do. He was there for eight days with the group face to face. They were far west and had an escape plan if needed. Uh, we didn't see any uh, any signs of active warfare at the time. As he reflects on his time there, Tatum wants everyone to know, despite the physical and emotional trauma, Ukrainians are brave, resilient, and generous. The soldiers, to every single one, the first question after we talked about surgery was how quickly they could get back to the front lines. <laughs> And these are guys that had uh, were missing an eye and you know, had some very major injuries. His team's job was to help Ukrainians recover as best they could. Mission accomplished. Iris State Moran, News Channel 9.